let's derive the formula for the frequency of standing waves with this situation. It's a string that's attached at both ends. Since it's attached at both ends, these are both nodes. Note, a node is a placement of no movement. You have complete destructive interference. Now remember what's really going on here, and refer back to the demonstration video to see it with your own eyes, but a, a wave is coming this way, it reflects, and then it constructively interferes with the next wave coming out in the middle. Here, wave comes this way, comes back, and with the new waves coming in, it constructively interferes here, constructively interferes here, destructively interferes here. This guy down here, he has an additional node there, plus these two, so a total of three nodes. This guy has two nodes in the middle and two on the ends, so four nodes. Now, let's derive the equation for frequency. Let's start with the wave equation. The wave equation, the speed of the wave along the string, equals the wavelength times the frequency. Well, first thing to do is to measure this distance. Well, a full wavelength goes like this. So a full wavelength would be this. The length of the string is obviously just this distance. Therefore, we can see that this is half a wavelength, and therefore, a full wavelength, lambda, I'll put it here on the side, is equal to 2L. So, for the first possibility here, which we'll call the first harmonic, it's also called the fundamental frequency, we, can, um, we know that the wavelength is equal to two times the length of the string for the first harmonic. Therefore, rearranging the wave equation so that the frequency is the speed over wavelength, and then plugging in here, I'll call this F1 for the first harmonic. This equals V over 2L. Great, we got the first one. So that's, that's this guy. Let's, let's attack this guy now. Well, we can see that the wavelength extends from here to there. So we have up, down, that's one wavelength. So here, the wavelength equals the length of the string. So, very simple. For the second one, frequency is the speed over the wavelength. And since the wavelength is also equal to the length of the string, we just have this. Now let's look at the uh, third possibility. Well, third possibility, we have one wavelength and a half. So here, three halves of a wavelength is equal to L, the length of the string. Therefore, one wavelength is two-thirds of the, of the length. And that makes sense. This is two-thirds of the way to the other side. So plugging in. To the wave equation, frequency equals speed over wavelength, I have F3 is equal to V over, well, it's 2 thirds L, and that equals 3 V over 2 L. Ah, I think we see a pattern forming. If we put a 2 here and a 2 there, we see that we get the, the frequency is of the form Fn equals NV over 2L, where N is the number of the harmonic, and so, for example, we want to find the frequency of the tenth harmonic, well, we would just plug in 10 here, and so for the 10th harmonic, we would just get F10 equals 10V over 2L, plug in the speed of the wave along the string, plug in the length of the string, 
and you know the frequency of the tenth harmonic. So there you go. That's the uh, formula for a string attached at both ends.